Shalom. This is Nizama Shal Hamada Bar Yasharal on my channel, Nizama the Hebrew Mystic Healer. Before I get started, as always, I'd like to go ahead and show some love to my 3D Ken, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered to the four corners of this 3D earth realm. Much love and Shalom to you. And also show some love to my cosmic Ken, scattered to the 12 dimensions of this universal egg matrix. Much love and Shalom to you as well. And as always, show some love to my viewers, especially those of you who are subscribed. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, if you like this video, show me by giving it a like. So today I'm going to talk about a requested um, placement in Orion called Orion Mintaka. Now... Orion Mintaka has come up in a handful of my clients. It's a lesser known and less common placement in Orion, but it's actually a great placement to have in Orion when it comes to incarnation and when it comes to starseed origin. So What's interesting, just to give you guys a quick backstory, is when I first started waking up to my cosmic tree, I actually thought that I was from Mintaka Orion as far as my first universal origin was concerned. And I knew that I had dragon incarnations. This is before I knew that I was from the primordial void and I was primordial dragon. It's before I knew I was a Nunakai, before all of that. Mintaka was actually one of my first past life memories other than my Lemurian past life memories. And so Mintaka is very strong in my particular cosmic tree and I have picked it up in others as well. Very strong. Now Mintaka is really a beautiful placement for an Orion because Mintaka will have the usual Orion curiosity and desire to learn ability to separate emotions from logic so that you know an Orion and Orion star seeds in general which I will do a video soon on just Orion seeds in general and some of the general traits but one of the most common traits of an Orion is curiosity they ask a lot of questions they want to learn they want to know everything and usually Orion star seeds that are not working through a lot of karma here they're usually here to learn and to bring that information back to their soul group once they you know pass on and you know return to that particular soul emanation so when it comes to Mintaka, Mintaka is a very balanced placement. People that come from Mintaka are very spiritual, but in a more, I want to say lighthearted way. And they're more concerned with balance and getting along with others. They, as children, they tended to be kind of in the fantasy world a lot. They may have spent a lot of time indoors, be kind of introverted when they were children. Maybe they were artists. They would sit around and draw pictures. Maybe, you know, they did a lot of um, imaginative playtime. They probably had... Um, either dreams or they would imagine themselves as a mermaid a lot or in the ocean maybe as some other sea creature like a like a dolphin so this is how you would identify them in talking star seas when they were younger and in general, they consider this world a pretty harsh place. The Mintakins were actually one of the few Orion um, soul placements that were very much like about living a kind of peaceful, zen, carefree life. There's a lot of carefree energy. And Mintakins will tend to as I said before, like they will see injustices in the world, but they'll try to solve them peacefully. It's almost like they're the ambassadors of the Orion constellation. They're always jumping to the defense of other Orions, but they do not like to be lumped in with some of the more regressive 
lineages or solo expressions that are known to have come from Orion. Even though, as I always say in my videos, there's no such thing as, you know, a evil race or a good race. There have been a lot of wars that have taken place in the Orion constellation, and so the Mintakans almost like to separate themselves from that. So there can be a tendency for Mintakans to repress some of their more um, warrior-like nature into the shadow because they are still from the warrior constellation. So, but the way that they are warriors is different. They're like peaceful justice warriors. They're the kind of people that you would see you know, um, picketing or doing a peaceful protest or sharing information in a very calm and balanced way, but information that still cuts to the heart of the matter and really exposes injustice, but not in a way that would provoke others to violence, but in a way that makes others stop and think. They, as I said, like, it's, it's this carefree, laissez-faire, justice warrior energy <laughs> these are the these are like the kind of people if, if i could figure out a stereotype it would be like a hippie that lives near the beach you know they're chill they like to be by the water they're not really interested in getting involved in conflict but at the same time like they will you know share their opinions and you know they will peacefully protest with their lifestyle you know the things that they find to be you know not beneficial or regressive about their fellow mankind so that would be a good example of a Mintakan. But they also will be very in touch, as I said earlier, with like fantasy realms. And so Mintakans may have a very active fantasy life. They may be very good artists or writers, especially when it comes to um, like children's books or um, fantasy novels, especially dealing with anything, you know, maybe, um, the actual genre of fantasy of like dealing with like elementals or, um, they may also, um, tend to end up in maybe a more, um, they may end up like, uh, litigation lawyers. They may end up, um, like as a marine biologist or an oceanographer. So these people, it's it's kind of a mixed bag because the traits that they have are very peaceful and congenial but they will they will be ambassadors on behalf of causes they believe in but they help from a more peaceful standpoint is how i would explain it for the mintakan orions now as far as how they actually look in appearance i have seen two types i have seen from my own records and I've seen from the records of clients. So in a lot of times, I, I want to say right now that, that there's two different types. One is a mermaid and the other is like an amphibian type mermaid that kind of resembles a nomo, but slightly different, but really in that range. And neither one of these look like the stereotypical mermaid that you hear about you know, in on Disney, for example, that based on the records I've seen, that's usually not what mermaids look like. There were some that kind of resembled that during the time of Atlantis on Earth, but I haven't seen any in the stars that look like that so far in the records of clients. And I know that's an association we have, but the ones I've seen actually, again, look more Nomo-like. You know, when we think of the Nomo having either a fish face, um, an amphibian face, and even if they do have human-like features, their skin will usually be of a different color. They'll look gray, they'll look green, they'll look transparent with like certain neon markings. They will, you know, have fishtails or they will have finned feet that can basically... Now some, some Mintakans can go on land, but the majority of the Mintakans that I've seen, you know, they stay in the water. Now some resemble, um, amphibians actually look like frogs in their upper body except they have webbed fingers and then they have fish tails but they resemble frogs like very closely but they're like again that kind of noma looking vibe the others i've seen they have human-like faces and they have they have hair and they have fins and then they have the fish tails but they're not they don't have um 
the type of melanin range that humans have where they have human skin tones their skin tones as i said before usually like range from gray to green to blue now the ones that look more like frogs i've seen them as more transparent looking with like neon stripes so they will tend to also in their home environment they will tend to be very like they will love other sea animals they will take care of other sea animals that are you know um at a at a different level of consciousness so the mentakans on earth will probably be drawn to the ocean and will probably be drawn to wanting to care for other sea animals so in a nutshell that's how i would describe them now some of their spiritual gifts because i already mentioned some of their tendencies and personalities and and how you would identify them like in the world but some of their spiritual gifts might be there they might be very good at meditation and accessing certain realms very quickly through meditation they may be very good at guided meditation um they may be very good at counseling they may be very good at being an ambassador either for for their own soul group for others around them or for their own bloodline um they could be seers where they can actually you know see things in the past present or future as an open vision or or have the gift of dreaming as well and so these are just some of the gifts I'm in talking Orion may have. So I hope that this was an enlightening and informative video. If it resonated with you and you think you might be Mintaka and Orion and you want to know for sure, definitely reach out to me to book through me. You can find the link in the drop down menu or you can find it on Facebook, facebook.com slash the Hebrew Mystic Healer, all one word. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Shalom. Until next time.